Now you probably might have noticed that when we are sending a friend request or accepting a friend request, it takes at least 7 seconds to actually give us a response. This is because we actually have to send an email and send an, an, an event to pusher and save something to the database. So all of these processes actually just take a long time. So what we are going to be learning in this video is how to queue our notifications so that they will happen in the background on our servers and our user can have an awesome experience when using our application. So first of all, the first thing we have to do to set up queues, and if you don't know what queues are, this, uh, this is an, a very awesome way for us to perform jobs on our servers. So what will happen is we tell the server, okay, send an email to this person, but we don't want you to try sending an email to that person. Meanwhile, the person is waiting for a response after clicking the add friend button. We want you to send that email later on when this person has already known friend request sent and he's using the application, then you can do that in the background. So we're just going to queue and the queue that stands for the jobs are actually processed in the order in which they were sent into the database or whatever queue driver you're using. So Laravel provides us with a lot of queue drivers and if you go ahead to your queue.php, right here we have the list of drivers that Laravel uses. So we have the database, Beanstalk, SQS, Redis and Null. Okay, so the sync driver here is just, it just means do it in real time. Okay, so once the user clicks friend request, send me a friend, send a friend request, send that friend request and actually send the email, save it to the database, broadcast to that user at that moment. So this thing is actually what we've been using this while and it takes six to seven seconds to actually process everything we've asked it to process. Now imagine if the application has a thousand users, it's gonna take a longer period of time. So what we're gonna be using for our queue driver is the database. So it means we're gonna have a database table and this is going to store all the jobs for the queue. So when the, when the queue begins working, it's gonna go to the jobs table, look at the jobs right there, execute those jobs and then clean up those jobs from the database. So right now we are gonna create that table, our jobs table, and we're gonna use a command phreadisan queue table. And this is just gonna create the table for our job. So this created a new jobs table and we'll go ahead and migrate to it. PH3 adds and migrate. And it migrated the create jobs table to our database. Okay. So now the next thing is how do we push our push our notifications to the queue so that they happen in real time? Okay, not forgetting to configure our queue driver in our dot env. We'll go ahead and set that to database. So how do we push our notifications to the queue? So Lavo provides classes for us to do this in a very easy way. So our notification friend request accepted, we're just gonna implement shoot queue. So we're just gonna implement the class shoot queue, which is important for us right here. So it should implement that contract. And the next thing for the other method, it's also gonna implement exactly the same class. So every single notification that you want to send to the worker, you're gonna implement the shoot queue. So what happens? First of all, when the notification is broadcast, it's gonna dictate that we are implementing shoot queue, meaning it should queue this job. So it's not going to send the notification right away. It's simply going to, if we go to our friendships controller, right here, as soon as we add the friend, Rather than dispatching this job right away, it's simply gonna save it in the jobs table. So it's gonna save this job and then return the response, which will be a lot faster. Then when we have our queue worker working, it's gonna process this job from the database and do whatever it has to do. So let's go ahead and see that in action. First of all, we have to trigger that job. So what we're gonna do is simply go to my account and send Emily a friend request. So here's my account right here. I deleted their friendship for this purpose. So send Emily a friend request. You see right away we received the response. But right here I didn't receive any notifications or nothing like that. But let's go ahead to my database to see that table. So if I go ahead to the database for this application in our jobs table, so we have three jobs right there for each of the channels, the mail, the broadcast, and the database, storing into the database. So what we are gonna do is create a, a worker. So these workers actually do the work in the background. So they go to the jobs table, look for jobs that are supposed to be done, and they do it. So when as soon as they are done, you discover that the jobs in the data table are going to disappear, and then I'm going to receive the notification, or Emily is going to receive the notification that I sent to her. So let's go ahead and start our worker. 
php artisan q work and right there it's searching for jobs and you see it's process one two three four jobs okay so as soon as it processed that job you discovered i've received a new notification from pusher and right here this is the data that came with that notification okay so i've received that notification as soon as the job was processed in the database so when you upload your application to a date to a server what is going to do you start a, a worker and this worker is going to simply be processing the jobs as they come in 